All right, so today our lesson is 9.5 synthetic division. an example. Just one for now. We're going to divide uh, 2x cubed minus 13x <coughs> squared plus 26x minus 24 divided by, so this is our third degree polynomial, divided by x minus 4, first degree polynomial, there's a binomial there. And we're going to write it just like we practice on the board, uh, doing long division. So we're going to do 2x cubed minus 13x squared plus 26x minus 24. And then we write our division symbol divided by x minus 4. And so I think this song kind of comes in handy when we make it more complicated like this. So you're thinking divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So we're going to start by just thinking about the x term in our divisor. And we're going to do uh, 2x cubed divided by x. So that's the first division we're doing. 2x cubed divided by x. I think it's helpful to write it off to the side. So you can remember, oh yeah, we did this. It wasn't too hard. When we have division, we just, at the same base, subtract the exponents and simplify. Um, there's like a 1 there. So it's just going to be 2x squared. So we go back. This is what goes above when we go to the x squared term, 2x squared. So we have, uh, that was the divide part. Then the next part is multiply, so we're going to multiply the 2x squared times the x minus 4, so 2x squared times x minus 4. So that's going to be 2x cubed minus 8x squared. And then that comes back in when we write that just below. So that's going to be 2x cubed minus 8x squared we're going to subtract. We're actually subtracting that whole thing. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed cancels out. And then this is negative 13x squared minus negative 8x squared. So remember that kind of becomes a plus. So negative 13x squared plus 8x squared is negative 5x squared. Then what? Bring down. And repeat. So we go negative 5x squared divided by x. So negative 5x squared divided by x. So again, we're just subtracting those exponents, and we end up with negative 5x. And that goes above the x uh, term. So that's going to be plus 5x. So this, oh no, it's not. It's a negative, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that should be a minus. That's a big fat minus sign right there. <laughs> minus 5x. And then multiply. So we have negative 5x times x minus 4. So it's negative 5x squared minus plus. Negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20x. And then that comes back up in. And we're going to do negative 5x squared plus 20x. And we're subtracting that whole thing. And 
if this doesn't cancel out, you did something wrong, right? That's, that happens each time because we selected this value on purpose. And then 26x minus 20x is 6x. So we divided, we multiplied it, we subtracted, and now bring down. And divide again. So 6x divided by x. Well, now the x's just cancel, right? So we've got a positive 6, so plus 6 here at the end. And we multiply. 6 times x minus 4. I can do that in my head, right? 6 times x is 6x. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Hey, look at that. Isn't that neat? So the 6x cancels, and the minus 24s cancel, and we're left with 0. So my final answer, I'm going to rewrite it because it looks so ugly up there. So 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. And the purpose of this is this provides us with an additional way to find the zeros for our graph, right? So we, we can see right away if x minus 4 is a factor, what would the zero be that goes with that? Remember, we set it equal to zero. Four, positive four, right? Uh, and now I could take this. I could... Uh, use um, the t-chart method and split the middle to factor that further. I could use the quadratic formula now that I'm down to a quadratic. Um, but this is serving the same purpose as what we've been doing for the past couple of lessons, which is ultimately to find the zeros of the function. So let's take a look at this. How did you guys feel about this? Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay, I see all range. Give me a, a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in terms of how confident you feel about doing something like this. Okay. All range of numbers. Okay. I actually have an easier method, if you're interested. So this method is providing us with the same process. And I just wrote synthetic division at the top, but I'm going to reinforce. I'm going to write that again. And we're going to use that same example, synthetic division. And th this is weird. It's, it's weird at first. I'm going to start by writing the root that goes along with this, uh, this uh, binomial that I'm dividing by. The root that goes along with that we just established is 4. So that's going to go here in a box. It's a great 4 in the box. And then you're going to write the coefficients in descending order. So we see, I kind of maybe need to zoom out a little bit. Uh, our coefficients here are 2, negative 13, 26, and negative 24. So I'm going to write those directly next to my box. So 2, negative 13, 26, and negative 24. I'm going to give myself a gap and then I'm going to make my long equal sign. First step is to bring down the first value. <coughs> I got my 2. Next step is to multiply. 2 times the 4, which is 8. I'm adding this time. So I'm doing negative 13 plus 8, which is negative 5. And you may start to see some resemblance here. We had a 2, right? We had an 8 here and here. We had a negative 5. And then we're going to multiply again. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Add. 
so that gives us a six. And you can see again, the 20, the six. Multiply, six times four is 24. Add those together and get zero. That's not the answer. <laughs> those are just the coefficients. So we need to match these up with what works out uh, with our variables plugged in. So this last value is always your remainder. I'm going to label that remainder. The second to last value is always your constant. There's no variable with that. And then you start adding in variables, starting with the first power of your variable. So just x. And then x squared. Where you don't have a negative sign already, you can throw in a plus sign. So I am going to rewrite that because yours might be more squished together than mine is, and that's okay. So we're going to rewrite that as 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. We don't write the 0 if there's a 0 remainder. Two methods, long division <laughs> or synthetic division. Which one do you prefer? Synthetic. Yeah, so nice, isn't it? It is the same process as long division, just a lot simpler. So uh, go ahead and get out your worksheet you picked up. I'm going to do a couple more examples with you on synthetic division. So we may need to continue this tomorrow.